Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday the 22nd of November 2016. So a very narrow range yesterday and according to an article on Zero Hedge this is the narrowest trading range for the Dow since 2013 and it was a very narrow and boring range. The markets uh, moved more in the overnight than it has or did during yesterday's uh, main session which uh, is quite amazing really but uh, the market still desperate to get to uh, the 20,000 level which uh, this article here in Zero Hedge uh, pointed out yesterday almost 20,000 Dow disappoints for seventh day in a row despite VIX termination and what they mean about this is the volatility index you can see there a bit of a joke there with the cliffhanger video and what they're saying basically is that there's been a collapse in the volatility index which is not too dis well not too dissimilar from the uh, implied volatility I just prefer the implied the volatility index you can actually trade with uh, futures uh, contracts whereas uh, the implied obviously is a component of the options premium but as it says um, it says here that uh, it's the uh, the VIX uh, puked uh, obviously an Americanism there to a 10 uh, handle its lowest since uh, July 2014 what it means is it traded down to 10 the lowest since 2014 uh, before that it was the lowest since March of 2007 interest in the 2007 2008 and the VIX dropped to five consecutive days uh, was in July the last time they had this was in July and October and was followed by a huge spike yes and that's what always follows these sort of multi-year lows in volatility whether it's the VIX or whether it's the implied volatility and as I said before I prefer the implied volatility because it's more of a measurement of the the risk whereas this has become slightly uh, manipulated over the years as well nobody used to look at the volatility index and now it's a, a big market uh, obviously uh, being able to take the opposite position to the uh, futures in the Dow so it's going to be interesting to see how things pan out and if we have a look at the daily chart we can see that the market is stuck in this sideways range are we going to do the 20,000 before Christmas who knows it may be in between Christmas we've only got today and tomorrow and let's see what news we've got that could push the market anybody coming out and speaking 3 p.m. we've got uh, personal spending and core PCE price index both medium impact news items I thought they may have done something yesterday with the crude oil but that came out uh, bearish and the market then just traded sideways which is unusual because they tend to use bearish news to move the market higher I think if I'm going to um, speculate on this and make a prediction it's probably something along the lines of this if you think about it if you work in the banks then would you actually push the market to 20,000 before Christmas that's the question because let's face it this market's moved upon fresh air we can see how the volume is just absolutely evaporated it's gone there was no volume for yesterday and everybody knows that when we've hit the 20,000 everybody in his dog is going to come in and sell at this level because they know that the market's gone up on fresh air we've had the Trump honeymoon we've seen the market move higher the Santa rally all of the other cliches that you get this time of year the bankers bonuses are now probably uh, cut and dry but why would you want to sell at 20,000 before Christmas and then stay in that position to the short side with the volatility being so low that's the question you've got to ask so it's likely if you think about it logically this is going to happen after Christmas just to save a lot of people from getting indigestion from the turkey whilst they're wondering what's happening to their portfolio and the market how it's going to react when it opens the next day if it if it sort of sells off before Christmas so that's probably what's going on at the moment this is uh, being held for this reason talking of uh, volatility we've got uh, another low in the implied volatility it's down to 976 which you can see there and in the chart here you can see we're below the 10% and when we get below the 10 percent we're likely to get a major move in the underlying market and sure enough we probably will i'm just going to switch back to the daily chart let's have a look at what happened last year during this time it's always an interesting one to have a look at and you will see here that the market also uh, following yellen's in rating increase interest rate increase 
we saw the market uh, trading sideways and then eventually it started to sell off from the 31st of December and then all the way through January selling off there. Now will it do the same this year? Who knows? We, can't, we won't know that until we get to that point. But the certainly the, the planets aligning with the volatility with the market moving up on low volume to point to a major correction coming in this market. And this was a 2000 point drop. Yellen gets on the phone on February the 11th. You've seen that article before. And the market then reverses as the central bank, central bankers buy the market moving higher. We've got the Brexit vote a referendum there. We see the market reverse from that. And then we see the market trading sideways waiting for the US election. We get the Trump 900 point sell off, 900 back. And then we've been moving higher with the Santa rally and the Trump honeymoon. And now we're stuck in this sideways range. The volatility is uh, moving to multi-year lows and there is no volume. So I don't need to keep going over this, but you get the, the picture here that we've got something here that is being set up for a major correction in this market. And with that, let's see what uh, the pre-market session does today. See if the market can move during the initial part of the session you never know you can have a one quiet day and then the next day you can move all the way to where it wants to move but it'll be interesting to see if the market can during the next two days actually trade up to the major major psychological level of 20,000 if it does it will be interesting to see how it holds during the Christmas period and if it doesn't then my initial theory that they don't want it to be at 20,000 before Christmas will be the case and you know the the reasons why because obviously anybody even most traders will think oh 20,000 it's not going to hold above that any close back below that and the sellers are going to come in and move this market lower right that's it uh, for today I'll report in if I see anything other than that uh, as ever thanks uh, for watching and uh, see you in the next one